It feels like every day on the news, there's a story of unexplained violence. You know, sometimes it's horrifying, and sometimes it's truly just weird. We've got some breaking news to report this hour. A Kentucky man is in custody accused of attacking Senator Rand Paul. Senator Rand Paul was assaulted outside his home. We're learning this morning that the injuries he sustained are worse than originally thought. A senior advisor says Paul suffered five broken ribs and is in considerable pain. The suspect was arrested and charged with assault, then released. Holy crap. Someone assaulted a sitting U.S. senator. That, that's crazy. What's even crazier is that after only one night in jail, the man was released. Like, he broke a senator's ribs and he's already out. I'm, I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say that he's white. <laughs> Can I get white for 500? <laughs> the attacker? His own neighbor, 59-year-old Rene Boucher. Rene Boucher? <laughs> wow. That sucks. I mean, getting beaten up sucks, but getting beaten up by Rene Boucher <laughs> is horrible. No, because now it sounds like you got beaten up by the candlestick from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it sounds less like a name and more like some sort of Christmas centerpiece. Do you like my Rene Boucher? <laughs> okay, okay, that, that was fun, but, uh, but who is Rene Boucher? Boucher, a retired anesthesiologist and pain specialist who invented the thermovest to treat back pain. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> Rand Paul got beaten up by a pain specialist? <laughs> Touché, Boucher. <laughs> getting... <laughs> getting beaten up by a doctor must be the most confusing thing that can happen to a human being. Doctor's just there like, don't you ever do that again! Okay, now show me where it hurts. Show me where it hurts. <laughs> show me where it hurts, all right. Have you had any uh, recent changes in diet? Anything, anything? All right, I'm gonna need you to cough. I'm gonna need you to cough, okay. <laughs> and by the way, by the way, it's not like Rand Paul got into a fair fight and lost. It turns out that Rene Boucher is as sneaky as his name. It happened Friday inside the gated community where both men live. Boucher's home right next door to Senator Paul's. Sources say the senator was mowing his grass wearing headphones when the attack happened. Paul telling police Boucher came onto his property and tackled him from behind, forcing him to the ground. Wow, Rene Boucher tackled Rand Paul from behind while he was on a riding mower. That has to be the most white guy attack I have ever heard of. <laughs> the only way that attack could be more white is if he dropped a radio playing This American Life into his bathtub. That's the only way. Now, this story has raised so many questions, mostly because neither Rand Paul nor Rene Boucher have explained why the fight happened. Uh, luckily, that's what nosy neighbors are for. Initially, there was thought that this may be political in nature, and now it looks like it can be as silly as yard waste. A long-running dispute over grass clippings and leaves blowing onto each other's lawns. Jim Skaggs that's is a longtime neighbor and knows really both men bad. well. From what you've heard, what was the reason for this latest dispute? Uh, trash along the property line. I think their disagreement was probably over where a leaf or a twig fell on a tree. That, no, that, that can't be right. <laughs> Rene Boucher attacked a U.S. senator over leaves? That would be like finding out that John Wilkes Booth shot Lincoln because he was sitting in his seat. <laughs> president, president, I'm 12H, bam! Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm 10H. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> my bad, my bad.